I can just say personally and watching his movies and the thing that I always get from them is that how no matter what the movie is, you, you feel there's something personal to it. There's something he has to personally relate to, you know, and the, the clarity of the emotion in it. And it's, it's like a, you know, just, but again, it feels all very intuitive, you know, it's like, okay, it's based on a book. We have all these characters. Okay. Well, I'm just going to make it. This guy's telling you the story. You know, we're gonna see everything. You know, Tax Driver is the first. I had the double mind blower one night where my dad, my dad would wake me up in the middle of the night sometimes and say, "Hey, you know, you want to watch this movie? You know, it's it's too. You know, your dad, your your mom won't let me will get mad at me, but it's one of my favorite movies. And then one of the nights was Taxi Driver. But Taxi Driver, yeah. And then I would watch it over and over again. And I I've said this a couple of times. I'll abbreviate. But Taxi Driver is the first time. I saw something where it unlocked the what you could do in movies where, you know, he takes uh, uh, Sybil Shepherd to the porno movie. Mm -hmm. It's terrible. That shot where he's he's on the phone with her and he's saying, hey, did you get my flowers? And you could tell she's turning oh, wait, him down. Leaves. And the camera dollies off of yeah, him yeah, yeah. while he's still talking. And I was watching it going, this is so uncomfortable, you know, especially at 11, the idea of like, a girl be embarrassing yourself like that in front of a girl. It's just the, I mean, still it's, I think it's the hardest scene to watch in that movie outside of all the violence <laughs> and everything is watching him take her to the porno movie. It's just terrible. It's pretty bad. And you're watching it and like, Oh God, I go, I can't watch this. And then that camera dollies off him. And I went, Oh, the movie can't watch this. It was like, <laughs> it's like the filmmaker just went, I don't want to, I don't want to watch this either. This. <laughs> I don't want to see this. Let's just go down here. And I was like, Oh, you can do that. You know? <laughs> And also when he shoots Kaitel, the idea of point of view that really when he walks, you know, suck on this, that famous thing, mm -hmm. he shoots Kaitel in any other movie, music, he's off and, you know, whatever. But he shoots him, oh, oh, and then he just follows him and he sits back down. And now it's just, you, the point of view is you, you're someone on the stoop across the street right. and you just saw a guy shoot another guy. And now it's just you and the shooter and the shooter sat down and you guys are just <laughs> sitting there. And it, and it works on some. Yeah level yeah but um but no i i i really like that movie but it's a tough one it's the scene it's what they're talking about in raging bull the whole like you fuck my wife scene you fuck my wife what you fuck my wife you know and there's that thing where he was doing it on joe they're on joe pesci on his coverage and he's going and he's like you fuck my wife and he's like no no and then one take he goes you fuck our mother and joe pesci goes what <laughs> like that and that's the take they use the take that he's responding to you fuck our mother. He's like, what'd you say? Like, <laughs> that's to give him something, you know? And he can make them in these really interesting ways, especially what he did with editing and camera movement, especially when you get to Goodfellas. But I remember being a kid and seeing Goodfellas, and I was like, well, that's the greatest thing I've ever seen. Right. And then I watched the Oscars with my parents, and I was like, well, that's going to win everything, you know? And then it was... Kevin Costner won Best Director for Dance of the Wolves. And I was like, yeah. wait, what? But even like Hugo, it's like that movie's about, you know, uh, film preservation, you know? It's like he's got to be able to latch onto something. And I, I, I think that's what I admire so much about him. Even on like the big scale movies, he finds something like that. You know, one of my favorite Scorsese movies is Age of Innocence. And I just remember going to see that in the theater. And yeah. I love that film so much. And I just remember yeah. seeing it. I mean, this is so fucking cool that he made this. Even Age of Innocence. I like that movie. And I'm like, this is, uh, I mean, it's gut-wrenching. There's parts of that movie that are just so hard to watch. Because they just feel so real. You know? I mean, <laughs> I just, and, and that... You, you you grow up and say the guy made Age of Innocence, the guy made Goodfellas, you know, and right. Man, it's and, like come on, I'm doing yeah, just the, the variety and the yeah. and but the consistency of the films were always was always there. But I, I anytime I see one of his movies, even The Irishman, I mean, I got I rewatched The Irishman recently, and I I get really emotional in the last thirty minutes of that movie, especially the very last scene. I just am like, wow, this is. This is so, so, it feels so, so personal, you know? Again, I just feel like anything with a Scorsese movie, it's like, even when it's uncomfortable, whatever, you just go, well, is that, does that feel honest? 